Senator Smith. Thank you very much, Mr. President. My question is to the Assistant Minister for Social Services, Senator Fifield. Will the minister inform the Senate of the benefits of the China-Australia Free Trade Agreement for Australian aged care service providers? Order. The Assistant Minister for Social Services, Senator Fifield. On my left, Minister. Thanks, uh, Mr. President, and uh, thank you, Senator Smith, uh, for your uh, deep interest in aged care, and also particularly for organising a terrific uh, series of visits and meetings on aged care in uh, regional Western Australia last week. Um, Mr. President, uh, the, uh, the free trade agreement uh, has secured. I'm very pleased to advise the best ever market access provided to a foreign country by China on services. Uh, as uh, Minister Rob has said, uh, when it comes to services, this is the best ever deal China has done by country mile. Um, China, uh, like our own population, is, is ageing. Uh, by 2025, it's expected that there will be 300 million people uh, aged over 60 in China. Uh, compare this to our own consumers, uh, where by 2020 uh, it's expected that there will be 1.6 million Australians uh, over 65 who will need some form of care. Um, this is an unprecedented opportunity uh, for Australian aged care providers uh, to access uh, the world's second largest economy uh, and its huge potential uh, in aged care and health. Uh, the agreement permits the establishment of wholly Australian-owned hospitals and aged care services in China. It's a once-in-a-generation opportunity for our aged care industry. Uh, it demonstrates uh, that there is demand in China. Uh, for our training that we can provide in management, nursing, gerontology, personal care, reablement and facilities management. Uh, Australian aged care providers are keen uh, to sell their services and experience to China. Uh, Australian facility managers, property developers and architects uh, are keen to sell their operational uh, and design expertise. Uh, Mr President, this is an opportunity that uh, we can't afford uh, to let go uh, begging. Uh, and also, uh, Australian universities and RTOs are keen to sell uh, education and training services for all levels of aged care, uh, both in China, uh, but also uh, Thank you, from Minister. Australia. The time for answering the question has expired. Senator Smith, supplementary uh, question. Thank you, Mr. President. A supplementary question. Will the minister inform the Senate how the government is realising the potential benefits of the landmark opportunity for the aged care services sector? Minister. Uh, Mr President, uh, in November this year, uh, Austrade, in uh, collaboration with China's uh, national peak body for aged care and health industries, uh, will launch the first Australia-China International Aged Care Summit. Uh, the summit will showcase uh, Australian aged care capabilities uh, and it will facilitate bilateral engagement uh, to support commercial uh, opportunities and potential collaborations. Uh, providers who participate uh, will obviously be able to build up uh, some contacts, some business opportunities uh, and to meet potential uh, joint venture partners. Uh, this will also benefit um, from uh, government access uh, and on-the-ground assistance uh, from the Austrade team in China. Uh, as we know, uh, the former Prime Minister Bob Hawke uh, is a huge fan uh, of this agreement. Uh, we've heard uh, much of uh, Simon Crean and Martin Ferguson and uh, a galaxy of Labor premiers, but we should not neglect Senator Conroy's uh, former uh, staff member and his protege, uh, the Victorian uh, Trade Minister uh, Phil Dalladar. Thank you, Even Minister. The favour, time for answering the Phil. question has expired. Senator Smith, final thank, supplementary question. Thank you, Mr. President. A final supplementary. Will the Minister advise the Senate how. Order on my left. Will the minister advise the Senate how China can benefit from the experience of Australia's world-class aged care sector? Minister. Uh, thanks, uh, thanks, Mr. Uh, President. Um, the the ageing of the population uh, and how best to provide support and care uh, to the elderly uh, is a major policy issue in China. Uh, there's already rapid expansion uh, of aged care services in China. Uh, both the Chinese national government and the provincial governments uh, know that uh, a lot more is needed to meet the future demand that they have. Uh, the Chinese uh, government recognises uh, that Australia has a well-established world-class uh, aged care system, a world-class aged care sector, uh, and that we are in a terrific position uh, to uh, help uh, the Chinese with the fabulous challenge uh, that is uh, a population that is uh, living longer uh, and living better. Uh, China is uh, very keen to establish a government-to-government -government dialogue 
uh, to uh, learn from us. Uh, but also importantly, I think in these arrangements uh, we need to be very open to learning from uh, the Chinese as well. Uh, Mr President, um, the Australian Labor Party should put politics aside and get on board. Thank you, Minister. Yeah.